Contestants picks it up. All those that think that uh, Alex and West Coast Crawfords, please, three, two, one, go! Spread out both quality and quantity there, Alex. So uh, you got to You're tough to beat. Let's see. Sorry, what was your name again? Ken. Ken. All those that think that Ken and smoked out should get it, though. Please, three, two, one, go. I think we're going to have to have a cheer off then, actually, that last one kind of caught me by surprise. Oh, no thanks to all of our contestants for, for coming in to the contest, uh, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm afraid these are the two that are going to face off for the end. Like I say, you know, uh, I think everybody wins when they do these things. You're bringing pipes and bongs and, and songs and things like that and having fun, so really, you know, everybody's won, but uh, let's see which one of, of these two guys is, is going to uh, pull it off here. So uh, let's go in the reverse order, and uh, we'll start with with Ken and uh, and Smoked Out. All those that think that Ken and Smoked yeah. Out should get it, please, three, two, one, go. Yeah. Cut out, Alex. Let's see. All those who think that Alex should take it, please. Three, two, one, go! Contest. Every year. You can't remember, eh? Well, congratulations, buddy. You finally pulled it off. You finally pulled it off. Cool. So there's there's that. And uh, I, 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 I found these outside of my store. Not even outside the store. So uh, let's have the bong contest. Bring down your bongs, folks. Who's got some bongs here now? I know Meg's yeah. Meg. Pong oh, contest. That's pretty. Very yeah. right pretty. Oh, cool. look at Meg. Oh. That's intense. What's your name? Also doesn't have a name yet. It's like so uh, Alrighty, so like I say, this is the uh, the, the, the bong competition in the uh, contest tonight. Uh, it's not quite last call, but if I get to the end and you're not up, you're not in. So, here we go. Uh, I guess the two, or three questions, because I don't know your name, are, you know... Uh, Lauren, okay. And do you uh, have a name for your bong? Okay. My bong? Cool. Um, and, uh, Mag, what you calling that one? Also doesn't have a name. I've only had it for three months. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Yeah, this one's waiting for the right, you know, uh, experience to come up with the right name. So I can, I can appreciate that. But we'll help you with the other. One. And uh, I, I, I think I remember you more by your Halloween name. <laughs> Because we have a contest, a, a costume contest for Halloween. Now that I, you, I, I remember when I see it, um, every year on Halloween, uh, we have a costume contest in the front steps of the courthouse where we just hot box for Canada Day. Last year, I had like $300 in prizes to give out to the best costumes. I got bongs and t-shirts, all sorts of stuff. So uh, um, I can't remember, was it last year or the year before that you had that really crazy costume? Or you've been in a couple now, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. The A&W Zombie, yeah. That was fun. 
Anyway, yeah, please come out and, you know, at least enjoy the costume contest, because some of us freaks really love dressing up. But, uh, you know, getting involved is even better. Anyway, do you got a name for your bong? Apollo. And sorry, what was your name again? Shane. Shane. So Shane and Apollo, and uh, what can you say about that one, Meg? And my bong. So uh, those are the three uh, uh, pieces of uh, paraphernalia, bonds, I guess, for this part of the contest. So I'm going to help them uh, uh, get ready, and uh, we'll have them go around and, and show you folks here uh, real quick. So again, uh, we're going to have a commercial break sponsored by Herb. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. They just looked to the side of finish up this part of the contest tonight. Um, about six months ago, we hired uh, people to do research uh, with Hempology 101 and the Cannabis Buyers Club of Canada. Uh, it's been uh, a little bit of a struggle to be sure. Oh, Evan! Evan! Shit, he's not listening yet. Evan! It's up here. A board meeting next Tuesday. Okay? So if anybody else is interested, thanks buddy, in helping out with the board of directors and being more involved in all these different planning events and stuff, uh, next Tuesday, 7.30, our board of directors meeting is uh, going to be at uh, the Buyers Club. But uh, yeah, the uh, research program has been uh, a big part of our work for the last six months, and we've kind of narrowed it down to working in three different areas. Um, the one that we've been doing for years now, this kind of comparison to cannabis and prescription drugs, is, is going to be get kind of uh, revamped into a, a two-page handout. The one we have now, it's about six or seven pages, and we don't have a high response rate. But uh, we're going to make it a lot shorter, and the staff person, uh, uh, Kristen now, uh, responsible for it, is going to sit with each new member and as soon as possible kind of go over and see exactly, you know, kind of where their prescription drug use is at, where their cannabis is at, use is at, and uh, where their symptoms uh, basically uh, are at in terms of their progression. And so uh, we want to do this on an annual basis, so we'll be doing a, a kind of a cost-benefit analysis of cannabis to prescription drugs, sort of uh, over time proving that we're saving the government money, uh, making people feel better, and uh, having a, a whole bunch of other benefits uh, uh, with uh, minimal cost. So uh, we're also going to be doing interviews with uh, some of the uh, members to uh, ask them questions personally about uh, their use of cannabis and the club, and we hope to get well, what's more called more like uh, 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 not quantitative information but qualitative information from the members and so we'll be using uh, this information for a number of different things you know writing uh, stories and and posting uh, information on the web page to entice uh, researchers and doctors to look further at the issue and just you know again explain what is happening so that other people that are sick may be able to uh, use cannabis uh, in the same way to, to achieve the same pain relief. So uh, there's a number of benefits to actually doing those interviews. Um, the third way that we're going to be doing research right now anyway, uh, that's really fun that everybody could get involved with if they want to, is we're doing weekly street surveys now. So you're going to find me Friday afternoons like noon to 1 or 1.30 1 on a street corner, probably pretty close to my store for a while, but we're going to go to like James Bay and Oak Bay and the University and all sorts of places and ask people questions about cannabis. And we've done this already once, uh, five quick questions um, ranging from is hemp legal to grow in Canada to do you know someone with the medical marijuana license to the final question that we've got on the, the, the question so far is do you think it should be legal uh, in Canada to, to sell it? So uh, it's been uh, really informative to get out on the street and ask questions and kind of get a sense of where people are at and give them some pamphlets and information. And uh, yeah, uh, for example, one of the questions is about Bill C-15. I haven't ranted and raved a lot about it, but the, the federal government is trying to create mandatory minimums of six months in jail for people growing pot. Anybody growing more than five plants for, and they got caught with trafficking, they're going to get six months in jail, nine months if it's in a residential home. 
So uh, the penalties uh, with uh, the Conservative government and Bill C-15 are really going up. If you're having a hard time finding pot right now, it's because the Conservative government